<laughs> now we're moving on to the red wine. Day three of what? Hello, welcome This is where to... beep gets real. <laughs> Buongiorno. 20% second year French oak. This red from the Douro Valley, Val de Cavalos. Which is fascinatingly 10% less than its equivalent white. And it's also second year rather than New York. Mm. Um, so this, Which is a more porty approach. No. No. So they do put some New York in. It's just that they won't want the flavour. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm still holding the bottle up. Anyway. Um, Turiga Nacional, Turiga Franca, Tinto Ruiz and Tinto Barocca. Uh, 16 a bottle um, from 2018 vintage. Which is their 100 year vintage. Which is their 100 year vintage. Um, so what do we think on this? It's lovely. Senor um, yes. Tinto Rorish is in fact Tempranillo, the Rioja grape. Um, and in a lot of kind of modern style port houses such as Crone and Potos, they like using that for kind of like freshness and vibrancy. And you can definitely smell that. <laughs> that here. has got a real, it's like, it's like unsweetened yeah. port. Yes, definitely. Like it's, it's just, it's just dry port, you know, it's just wonderful. You're getting all of those like this nice, is, this slightly is the, brambly, plummy yes, fruit. Like jam, like uh, but not jammy. Um, this is like the the backbone, the the fetus of port, you know. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not necessarily, <laughs> not, not wrong. necessarily wrong. Um, if the oak barrel is the womb. Oh no! Oh, no! 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 no, no. <laughs> I had to go there. No, you really didn't. Oh, so yes, um, it's, it's very ripe. It's very luscious. And this is just the. Nose. It is plummy, cassisi. You're getting a bit of uh, sort of bonfire toffee in there. It's all, it's almost like I always think that Dura Red, smoke. if I were to put it crudely, is like a nice Santa Mion crossed with a Rioja or something like that. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, do you know? It's somewhere in the middle. Um. That's that's just a really pretty nose. Mm. It's just really inviting and and warming. It's a sort of sit back and either have a barbecue or sit in front of the fire. Basically, it needs fire. Mm. It needs either a warm fire in the winter mm -hmm. or a barbecue with food on it. Um, oh, there's so much smoke. I love it. Mm. Mm. A really good bit of smoke. It's sort of like that. A harder, a sort of harder tobacco, not not a really soft, sweet tobacco. No, but something like a, a really sort of brown Cavendish or something. Yeah. No, more. Uh, uh, what I'm thinking, I'm, um, I can't remember the difference in brands, but when I used to partake of the odd cigar many, many years ago, um, you know, it was one of those ones that's a lot more savoury. Yeah. Um, that nutty, sort of smoke yeah. is there. Yeah. Um, and then you've got this lovely, lovely sort of. Cassis, cherry, damson, yeah. cedary thing going yeah. on around it. Um, Beautiful. Mm. Sort of mint stalk on the end. Mm. And then you're getting just this hint of, it's like cherry tunes, mm. menthol. Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of um, cough drop, cherry cough drop thing coming in on the end. Beautiful tannin, still a bit grippy, got plenty of time on this one. Um, oh my, my god, the tannin yeah. is just a little grippy. Um, just imagine um, <laughs> barbecuing a lozenge with a very compote, um, uh, a, a bit of kindling, and then a piece of chewing gum, but in the nicest way possible. You're not wrong. And then you mix that all together. You're not wrong. <laughs> but very prudely put. But but you're a bit weird. Yeah, extremely weird. Yeah. I'm um, the first one to say that. Uh, mm. I really like that it's, one. It's just dry port. And I, I really, really like that one. It is, it is dry port. And it's dry port in the best yeah, and that's possible first way. For, first and foremost, why I just love it. But yeah. it's also cracking, you know? And I think the other thing which is really great about Portuguese wines, particularly wines from Maduro, is they last. You know, you could put this away for five years and you're going to wine for 16, 17 quid that is going to last for half a half a decade. Mm. And it's just going to get better and better and better. When I when I went to Portugal back in 2005, I think it was, um, we tried a 15 year old 
uh, wine from another producer in the Douro. Um, and it was just a similar level here, you know, not the, the, the one you gave me. The, no, 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 different, di totally different okay. wine. Um, um, and and you know, it was back from sort of ninety one. Wow. And and that so that was when it was about fifteen, and it was just beautiful. Mm. And it was a wine that was, you know, it was the equivalent of a sort of ten fifteen pound wine now. Mm. Um, and um, well, they have so much backbone to They them. do. They've got structure. They've got yeah. depth. They've got complexity. They've got elegance. They're just brilliant, brilliant wines. You should buy lots of Douro wines and particularly yeah, that Por around the 15 pound one. mark. How do you pronounce it? Porsish. Porsish. I'll get there eventually. Doodaloo. Please, everyone, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram page, and Facebook page for more content from the Wine Train's answer to Kim and Kanye. See you later.